Hi guys, what are you what are you looking for today? Hi, um, seventy five teacups actually. Why yeah. seventy five? Um, we're starting a wedding catering business. What's the strangest thing you've ever bought at markets? I actually bought a handbag, and in that handbag there was some, shall we say, a couple of surprises in there. I like silk scarves, actually. You like silk scarves? Mm, and okay. this is the spot. Is that a silk scarf on your head right now? Yeah. How many silk scarves, how many silk scarves do you own? Uh, 200. So what are you selling? Absolutely everything <laughs> for absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's a lot, like for example, a lot of this stuff here. She hasn't even, she's only worn it a couple of times, so it's still got labels on it, so we might as well try and recover some of the funds she's spent on it, so. <laughs> So it seems like a lot of people love buying unexpected things from markets. I bought a Russian accordion at one once. Let's see what bargains Raymond can find. I grew up in Manila, in a place called Las Piñas. I have an older sister and a younger brother. Ah, oh, there were heaps of uh, good memories. Almost uh, all throughout my childhood years, we had like a, a, a rice paddy <laughs> behind our house. But now it's, it's developed. It's, uh, it's developed into a city now. The working conditions in, in my country, it's not very good for doctors. I, I heard that Australia was open to uh, international graduates and that's how I got here. Hello. Hi, my name is Raymond De La Cruz, one of the emergency doctors here. The oh. emergency medicine yeah, allows me to speak to a lot of people, be friendly with them. I'll listen to your heart and chest and uh, see, and let's work out what's, go what's going on, okay? Good, thank you. Doctor. Excellent. I live uh, very close to the city, in a one-bedroom apartment. I, I like living alone so I can do anything I want. <laughs> you know, I can, like during my free days, I can just lounge in the, in the couch, watch TV, do nothing. I came here because I wanted to be financially independent. That's, that's uh, one of the things that I really appreciate. You know, I can buy my own car. My mom doesn't have to buy me a car buy my stuff, my laptop, I can keep my place uh, as I want it. I like photography because it allows me to uh, document all the beautiful things that I see. I like taking photos of, of landscapes primarily because I, lo I love to travel and in my travels I, I carry my, my camera all the time. If I see those photos again, you know, like it reminds me of those happy times and that's what I like about photography. I can share whatever I saw uh, to my friends. Hey, Raymond. how are you? Good, how are you? Alan. We're here at the Trash and Treasure Market. I'm here to uh, have a bit of a look around with my friend. I'm not expecting much, actually. I don't know what to expect, but um, hopefully I can find something for, for the house. My apartment is pretty modern, actually, and the stuff I, re I usually buy are modern, uh, modern stuff uh, to complete the bachelor's uh, bad look. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm, I don't know if I can find something that will fit in the, uh, my, my apartment. So let's see. It's quite a modern looking one. Yeah, but I don't really need a tea. Oh, OK, <laughs> not a tea drinker. I'm with my friend Kate, and uh, I've been working with her for about three years now. She's a doctor. Well, I'm going to get this because I like cats. Are you <laughs> What about this one? This is a cat. Oh, I think Kate uh, will be a good person to uh, come with me today because uh, she likes small things and she likes uh, bracelets, necklaces, anything that she can hang on herself. This is uh, one of the biggest and most popular markets in Australia. Uh, it's an open air market. Uh, there aren't too many of these around. Basically, the market's divided in half half with fruit and veg and half with the bric a brac. There's lots of people here that want to get rid of uh, their unwanted goods in the trash and treasure side of things. Now, for something that we consider as, you know, no good, we can throw it away, other people think it's a, a treasure to them, and that's what they really want. And that attracts all different sort of people here. I love the markets, really, so any chance to get out to them, it's good fun, because you can always find stuff that's a little bit different. Um, you know, various sort of foods that you won't get in the normal supermarkets and things like that. It's always good to eat local. That one should be all right. Plus, I love the bric-a-brac. You never know what kind of great kits you can come across. What about oh, the... look, medical kit! <laughs> There's a <laughs> medical <laughs> kit! Look, we can get you we a new stethoscope. We can definitely stethoscope. use that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it just won't fit, really. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe if you... Maybe through here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> 
What's that? It's not about the stethoscope, it's what's between the ear holes of the stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hot in the Philippines to get around the markets and the weather here is perfect. And also most of the products that are on sale in the Philippine market are Filipino uh, stuff. This is a very multicultural sort of market and you can buy almost everything from all over the world which is good. And is that um, Tagalog? Yeah. Uh, this, is this uh, Turkish or it's Greek? Turkish. Oh, it's Turkish. <laughs> Do you make them? Yes. Oh, I'm making it. Oh, right. Wow, you must have been busy this morning. Yeah, all night. I've always thought that Australia, uh, its culture is predominantly uh, white. Uh, but yes, I was surprised that there are a lot of uh, immigrants from different countries. I'm not familiar with any of these. These are all um, different kinds of lentils for making dal. Oh, right. Um, have you had that before? Yes, I like Indian food, but I don't like preparing them. <laughs> yes. I think uh, Australians are very accepting about other people's culture. Uh, like in the markets, there were a lot of uh, food that probably uh, requires a bit of acquired taste. But if they're selling here like hotcakes, then some of the Australians uh, like buying them. All right. I think this is this is the one we're looking for. Yeah, that beautiful we've, thing. We've heard that you're selling uh, yeah, sugar okay. cane juice. Yeah, okay. That's $2 for one bag. All right. Okay. okay. Do you want to share a bag? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll share a bag. Sweet. Uh huh. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. How, how much is $2. it? $2. Two dollars. Yeah. That's all right. I've got it. Okay. Thank you. I've never had this before. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Some people they put lemon in. Wow, that's really sweet. <laughs> wow. Mm. It's very good. It is. I like it, I like it. <laughs> we put plastic bag like that uh, in my, my country at oh, home. Oh, okay. Because uh, my country is already doing it. Where are you from? Cambodia. 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 Oh, okay. Cambodia. Yeah. Oh, right. Cambodia. Yeah. There you go. Australians in general are very friendly and they're very chatty. In the Philippines, uh, people are, are very busy. Uh, they mind their own business. They, they don't have time for, for small chats. Where do you get all these uh, rocks? You collect them? Oh, wow. Really? Oh, wow. I, had, I had a huge collection of stones. Did you? Like when I was a kid, I would walk, walk around looking down, uh, looking for stones. I think I'm going to get this. Uh, in the Philippines, we just talk to each other when we have to. People here stop. They would ask me, oh, how, how, how's your day been? Or uh, what are your plans for tonight? And you know, like a small chat like that. I, I love doing that. Oh, this looks good. Oh, that's really nice. That'd yeah. go with your place. It definitely would. Um, it would look nice with my picture. Not my picture, my, my, my picture I, I took. Here you go. Cheers. Double change. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Right, Cheers. Cool. Yeah. Brilliant. Excellent. OK, now let's go. I have a really nice photo that looks at, almost like a painting. And it's a type of uh, photography where you shake the camera. When I took that shot, I was thinking of uh, hanging it on the wall. G'day. Hi, how are you going? That photo was taken in the Adelaide Hills um, maybe two weeks ago. We were having a picnic uh, with my friends from, from the hospital. So it was a really good day, nice relaxing day. It looks really awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm even impressed <laughs> at myself for taking a photo like that. I wasn't expecting to find a nice frame that will fit uh, my apartment, but it turned out really well, so that was good. It just goes to show at a trash and treasure market, one man's trash is another man's treasure. That's it for today. Here's what's coming up next week. Wei Ping joins a local Aussie Rules football cheer squad. Nimit learns to sail on Sydney Harbour and a bunch of the My Australia guests get together for a barbecue. See you then.